Just got back from my local department of motor vehicles. And our DMV has an interesting feature. It is a building that houses a lot of our county government and a lot of the different things that uh, go on for our county. And one of those things is something we call the Haunted Thrift Shop. Now, the Haunted Thrift Shop is because the uh, accounting department, I guess, has to deal with any estate that goes unclaimed. So what will happen is if someone passes and their relatives don't want to come from wherever they are, or they don't have relatives or whatever it might be, it falls on the county to deal with it. So one of the things that happens is that while you're waiting for your turn to get your license or you know pay your taxes or, or uh, vote or whatever you need to do in that building, there's stuff just sitting there. I happened to look over and see a bunch of jewelry uh, this particular morning, and this is my haul right here. Now you might be wondering, all right, why, 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 why the excitement? Why are you so upbeat about this? Well, the answer is that I've already visited my local pawn shop, and we've hit the XRF machine to verify what I purchased, but I can tell you I bought gold. Uh, and it's old gold, too, which is why I wanted to make a quick video about it, because it's interesting. There's some things in here that are um, not not that I find very often, not, not found very often by me, at least. Maybe by other people, but a lot of this stuff has already been scrapped. So, for example, if I grab this little piece right here, you can see we probably have some maybe rubies. I don't know. Probably just some... Uh, uh, glass. Oh, you'll have to pardon my thumbnails. I've been making curry, so there's a little turmeric staining in there. Um, but if you look down there, you can see there's a mark. And that mark, if we can get our camera to zoom in on it, I think we can. Let's, let's check it out here. Yep. Can we do it? Maybe? Yes. Yes. We can make it happen. There it is. That mark is a 333 mark right there. And that indicates this is nine karat gold or uh, one third gold. And the big reason I wanted to show it in this video is because you can see that color. It is very brassy looking, but you can still spot this stuff because even if it's brassy looking, it isn't, um, it isn't totally thrashed. Part of why I was excited to make a quick little video here was because what I can show you, if I can, get this thing to focus right, is that this particular one is marked 333. So that's an old piece of nine carat, low carat gold. Uh, a lot of copper in there, uh, more copper than gold, in fact. But the other piece that was in the bag with it was this piece right here, which you can see somebody wore this thing a lot. But I wanted to point out a couple things. It looks like maybe GH were the initials. There's a couple things that actually indicate um, good things about a ring. If a ring has been resized, as you can see here, this little splotch down at the bottom and where it's been, it's been cut and then resized, that indicates somebody's been wearing this. And this ring, while it may just be brass, uh, whoever GH was wore this thing a lot. It is, it's been around. <laughs> And it was, it was probably somebody's wedding ring, um, somebody who couldn't actually afford gold or silver. But the reason I wanted to show it, and the reason I wanted to show it next to this piece, which is somewhat tarnished gold, is you can see the difference between brass and gold, even when the gold isn't very high grade, old, dirty. And one of the big things you're probably seeing there is that little green on it. You'll see some green also, I believe, on the inside right there. And that is corrosion, and that's the, that's the copper corroding. Now, you won't get that green on a piece of gold, even a piece like this, which is more copper than gold. The gold will keep it from getting that green. So I was excited to grab this because not only is it, you know, gold, and once you've got the gold bug, any gold's good gold, um... Also, it was cheap. I think these two rings cost me $7. But uh, I also thought it would be a great way to be able to show you sort of the difference between a brass ring and a gold ring, a 
low quality gold ring. Because most people have probably seen nice gold rings. Uh, you might be wearing one right now, but not necessarily um, 333 uh, gold like this one or nine carat is the other, other term for it. Now, a couple of the other pieces are fun. Um, this one is a, uh, came up as 10 carat and you can see it is dang old. Um, the stone in the middle looks to be glass and I think the stones ringing it are also glass. It's very dirty. I'll probably wash this one up, but you can see from the construction that it's old uh, if it had any markings on it to indicate that it's 10 carat, they're gone. But see how shiny that is? How nice that is? Even though the thing is, look inside there, filthy, utterly filthy. If this were a piece of brass, it would be black and it would have green all over it. But this piece does not. So I was able to determine just looking at it that it was gold. And somebody maybe has tested it. You see these little notches out right here and here? So somebody probably checked to see if it was solid gold in the past. Now, I don't know why it still ended up in the uh, haunted thrift shop, as we call it. And I should note that the old building where this um, this uh, estate liquidation occurred, they definitely had a ghost. Uh, <laughs> uh, but they, they assured me today that the ghost did not follow to the new building. So uh, they aren't sure if I should continue to call it the haunted thrift shop, but I, I think I'm going to. In any case, I'm not sure how it ended up there. Well, somebody in the past knew that this was gold, and it comes up as 10 carat. So um, any gold is good gold, and a little bit of 10 carat gold, despite it only being 40% gold, uh, it's still better than, hey, you know, 33% gold, right? Now, we also have a couple other interesting pieces here. Uh, I grabbed this one, uh, and I paid more for this one because I, um, I liked it. <laughs> I don't know what else, what else to say. It's also old, and it's actually marked as 10 carat. Uh, and you can definitely see, you know, just looking at something like this uh, with the, the construction quality and the shine. Um, when you see the marking right here of the 10 carat, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's 10 carat. Uh, with probably a little, couple little sapphires in there and the seed pearls. Seed pearls are kind of out of vogue now. Uh, so if you see seed pearls in a piece, odds are it's an old piece. Uh, and it came with this little chain, which has lost its latch. Um, but actually the chain did turn out to be 10 carat also. So uh, pretty good, pretty good little buy overall so far. Um, the whole pile cost me $47. So I'm I am not uh, not unhappy. I definitely got more than that amount and my gold. Now, the most interesting piece here is probably this one. Now, this one is a really good, let me zoom out a little bit. So this is a bracelet. Um, it, I'll get our other little bits of gold out of the way. Um, it is a very nicely constructed bracelet. And there's a few things you wanna look for. If you're out and about, and you see something that looks nice, look close at the details. The details are what will usually get you uh, gold, especially if it's like dirty. If it's dirty, but has some of these nice features, uh, it's worth a second look. If it's old and has some of these nice features, it's worth a second look. Obviously some of the new stuff coming out of China will have these features too, but it's new and it says China. So in this case, one of the first things we notice is this little chain here. And the chain is to keep it from falling off of your wrist entirely if the latch comes undone. So it's a safety chain. It's to, to keep you from losing your bracelet. To open up this bracelet, you see here, we press on this button and then it opens up. Now, I have not yet figured out what this little SB mark means, or excuse me, SD mark means. Um, and the magic machine, the, uh, the machine that uh, determines what the metal content of something is, uh, very clearly said this piece is 10 carat. Um, now, 15 grams of 10 carat for eight bucks is pretty dang good, but I am suspicious. And I think this is a very good example of where if you do have access to someone's um, uh, uh, XRF, X-ray machine, which, which analyzes metal, you do want to... Um, be a little cautious because the machine only goes through so much metal 
and it can tell you something is solid 10 karat when it isn't. Uh, now, down at the shop, they think this thing's 10 karat, but I actually disagree. I, I, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm an idiot, and maybe they are the experts, but I'm going to disagree because of one thing. With this old gold fill, which is what I think this might be, you can look very closely at it, and you can look for high edge wear and see if there's a different material underneath this. Now, when we look at this particular piece, I'll zoom in as much as we can here. You can see like on the inside looks like gold. Everything looks like gold. The pin's probably not. Um, nothing is ferrous. It doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't stick to a magnet. It all looks just, just a little too good. Until we look at one of the wear points here. And I'll see if I can show it on this camera. I'm not sure if it's on that side or this side. Let's see here. So that looks really good. Let's flip that over. That looks still really good. So it's probably the other side that I saw. That looks really good. There we go. All right. Now, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to show it to you on this camera. I think I can. Do you see right through here where there's like a little darker slice and a little darker slice there you can see it real good right at the tip of my finger now a little darker slice a little darker slice that is exposing a different metal which i don't think is 10 karat that right there is exposing brass so i think that this piece is unusual it's very old um I, I will have to dig around and see when some of these uh, these uh, mechanisms were invented. This clasp can can date it. Um, pins can be dated by the types of pins that they use. Um, but this is not a new piece. However, I think when this was made, it was made with extremely thick um, 10 karat gold to the point where it's mostly gold. There's probably more gold in this than brass, which is a little confusing as to why they would do that. Um, but I'm at a quandary now, and I would love for you to weigh in. I think it's a nice bracelet. I quite like it. Um, I think that it would be a shame to destroy it, but I'll probably never know if it's actually gold without destroying it. So what do you think? Should Is this something that we should send off to the smelter and... Uh, have dealt with, um, brought down to its uh, constituent gold to find out what the gold content of this actually was? Or is it uh, too nice and too interesting and too good a piece to actually uh, be melted down? Uh, if you can drop a comment here and maybe uh, if you feel like you like this content, uh, add a like. And even if you're not a, uh, if, if you're not a subscriber, hit a subscribe. That would, that would really uh, be awesome for the channel. Um, and if you have any other things you any other things you'd like to talk about on these videos, let me know, and I'll uh, I'll see if I can dig stuff out, and I'll just continue to make uh, these little educational videos, um, showing the the different things that I've I've come up with, and uh, I hope you're having a great day.